Look, HKSP5, I brought you in here to have a real conversation with you. It's time we talk about guns that are better than you, because let's face it, you're old, you're obsolete, you're heavy, you're way too dang expensive, you're not even ambidextrous. The accessories cost as much as the dang gun. I think it's time we talk about the top five guns that are better than the MP5. Welcome back everybody, Clint here today with Classic Firearms bringing you the top five submachine guns that are better than the MP5, because let's face it guys, the MP5 is old technology, 1960s, it's, it's sure, it, was it cool at one point in time? Yes, but even the Uzi overshadowed the MP5 for a long time, so it's about time people fell off the high horse and their love with this HK goodness that is the MP5 and start appreciating things like my number five which is the Chris Vector. The Chris Vector utilizing the Chris Super V recoil mitigation system a much more pleasurable shot than the MP5. It's, it's hard to keep a straight face guys I'm not gonna lie but the Chris Vector is pretty sweet though, right? Newer technology, the Gen 2 is pretty awesome. At least they put the safety in a little bit more ergonomic placement so that way it doesn't dig into your finger every time you pull the trigger. I do believe shooting this in full auto would be a lot cooler. It's a neat gun. Definitely new technology, came about in 2009. This one specifically is the enhanced model with a little bit longer barrel and also to the longer rail system that you see on it here, which is nifty. You've also got the Picatinny rail that rides the full top, pretty much the whole length of the gun, which is nice. And this one has the integrated folding SP Tactical brace, which is again, a nice feature. So what's cool about this, like I said, is the Revectoring of the recoil on this guy due to that recoil system. The bolt will actually travel down through here and then down or back and then down. So it's pretty much forcing the muzzle straight down. And if you look at the axis of where the muzzle is, it's straight into the shoulder if you were to be shouldering this as in utilizing a stock and not a brace. Uh, straight into the shoulder and in line with the shooter's hand. So you have a great bore axis on this guy that's nice and low and then also the revectoring of the recoil, which just makes it a pretty fun shooter. And this one's specifically chambered in 45 ACP. So number five on the list, the Chris Factor. Let's go ahead and roll into my number four. Speaking of new technology, which the MP5 is not, LWRCI introduced the SMG 45 just a couple years ago, utilizing a short recoil delayed blowback system that is something you typically don't ever see. And because of this, system it is a pleasure to shoot this thing has a very low recoil super ergonomic utilizing ar controls fantastic trigger and just feels awesome utilizing ump mag similar to like what the chris vector did it's utilizing old style firearms types of magazines like glock mags this is utilizing a ump magazine the hk ump 45 would have made it to my list but it's two is kind of old technology, um, but it's just a direct blowback system, so nothing really fancy about it, but it is still super, super cool, that's for sure, so I guess it can kind of share the place, but that's cheating, I know. So, the SMG 45, the new and improved UMP 45, <laughs> right? But this guy does include the SB Tactical side folding brace for the pistol models. If you wanna SBR this guy, you can. And it does also feature ambidextrous controls, which is very nice. Even the charging handle, unlike the MP5, can be switched to the opposite side, so that way it's easier for our Southpaw friends. Picatinny Rail runs, again, the full length of the upper receiver, unlike the MP5, so if you wanted to throw on optics or flashlights or anything else, you've actually got that opportunity to do that and the rail space to do it unlike the MP5. Let's go ahead and move on to our number three. Now, to not hate on HK too, too much, because I still have yet to get my hands on one of these, I am gonna add to my list the MP7. Chambered in 4.6 millimeter, the MP7, which we saw released in the early 2000s, has been a unicorn gun on my bucket list for quite some time now. This gun, high rate of fire, utilizing a short stroke piston driven system, is just, too dang cool to not want. However, HK brought us the SP5, which is cool, and since there is about, I don't know what, a 50 year difference between the two of them, maybe 
in another 40, 50 years, we'll see the SP7, maybe. So uh, we'll let that hang, I guess. But anyway, the MP7 has been used by special operations all throughout the world. It's still in use today. The caliber alone is something that is pretty wild. Again, a 4.6 by 30 millimeter cartridge. This thing is made to defeat some body armor. It's a really unique firearm. I like it a lot. It's the one thing that I wish HK would bring us to the market instead of something like the SL8, but here we are. So with that being said, number three, the MP7. Maybe one day I'll get to pull the trigger on it. Let's go ahead and roll into the number two, which is something that I actually can pull the trigger on. Thanks, CMMG. So also utilizing Glock mags like the Chris Vector, we've got the CMMG Banshee. For the price, for the operation, for the fun, for the usability, the ergonomics, the CMMG Banshee is an AR pistol that will be very difficult to top. This thing is sweet. It shoots amazing. This one specifically is chambered in 45 ACP and it utilizes a radio delayed system, which you can take a look at this animation and see how exactly it works. But ultimately, as far as shooting it goes, it's almost like, well, you feel the recoil, it all happens so fast, but you feel the recoil ultimately after the bullet exits the muzzle, it slows things down a little bit, which is pretty cool. It's just a unique feel and makes it for a very pleasant shooter. And it being in the style of an AR, a lot of us are very comfortable with the controls that are already integrated on it. I mean, it utilizes pretty much an AR trigger, pretty much an AR grip, AR safety, takes down just like an AR. It's sweet. And also too, look at the charging handle this thing comes with. Thing is massive. So ergonomics are definitely on the list here. Integrated Picatinny with the M lock going around. What is there not to like about the CMMG Banshee? It's just, it's everything the MP5 wishes it could be. Now let's talk about the number one. So before I roll into my number one, I do have a couple of honorable mentions, one of which is the CZ Scorpion, but utilizing a direct blowback system, eh, it's a little rough around the edges, but it still is a lot of fun, very easy to customize. There's so many accessories available for it. I own one, they're great. The other one is obviously the PS90, kind of a class of its own, like the MP7, chambered in its own chamberings and offering all sorts of great, great ergonomics and all. Awesome gun. And my other honorable mention is the BNT APC9. Also utilizing a direct blowback system. A lot of you BNT fanboys over there drool over this thing. Personally, I think it's overrated. I said it. Fight me. Number one, however, is what the APC9 probably wishes it could be. And so does the MP5. It's the SIG MPX. This guy. It's like the MP5 and the MP7 got together, made fun of the BNT APC9, had a kid that utilizes a short stroke piston driven system, and this is it. SIG got it right with this guy. I have rail space. It's an M-lock rail with a Picatinny riding up front. Again, AR controls, so they're ergonomic. Ambidextrous controls, even the charging handles ambidextrous, unlike the little thing you have to rotate over here on the MP5. Monolithic upper receiver, the trigger on it, the Oh my, you ain't gonna get that out of an MP5 or a BNT. The magazines are lighter weight, probably feed more reliably, 30 rounds still, which is pretty cool, right? The MPX is just where it's at, guys. Look, it even has a little dust cover. MP5 doesn't have that. So there, I said it. All of these guns I mentioned before are the top five guns better than the MP5. With that being said, the code word for this giveaway is KING because let's face it, this thing is timeless. It kicks butt. It's probably, it, it, you, you can't beat the MP5, okay? I tried, guys, I tried. Is it overrated? Heck nah. Is it a better shooter than pretty much all the guns I mentioned before? Yeah. Uh, does it have everything I could ever ask for? Yes. <sighs> I will say though, the MPX is pretty cool. It probably hands down is the closest thing. If I were to go to a CQB Royale, the MPX is definitely gonna come closer, all right? Again, the ergonomics behind this guy beat out the MP5, but it is utilizing a short stroke piston driven design. Nothing wrong with that, I really like it, but the roller delayed design of the MP5, that's why it's so timeless. Does it have a last round bolt hold open? No. Does this guy? Yes. Does it have a fancy little dust cover? This one, yes. Whatever, man, this thing's so reliable, it doesn't need a dust cover, all right? So there, 
Fight me down in the comments section. I know you B&T boys are. That's okay. You'll get over yourselves one day. If it's, it's good enough for the Army, why isn't it good enough for you? Dude, I'm in the Marines. There's plenty of things in the Marines that I'm not happy with. So you think I'm going to select something just because the military does? Get over yourself. Lowest bidders. Anyway, head on over to ClassicFirearms.com. Get your entries in for the true king of CQB. Well, unless it's compared to the Mark 18. But that's besides the point. The true king of submachine guns, the MP5. In this case, the SP5 with the Franklin Armory binary trigger, SB tactical PDW brace, EOTech holographic with a BNT mount, will I say, and also to the Knight's Armament Tri-Rail with the angled foregrip on it. This thing is sweet, guys. <laughs> Again, ClassicFirearms.com is where you can get your entries. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. A lot of it was fun. Yes, a lot of it I may have been joking about. Maybe not have been joking about. But uh, yeah, just let me know what your thoughts were down in the comment section. I'll leave it off there. Again, code word KING for obvious reasons. God bless you guys. And as always, we appreciate you and your business. And we'll see you next time at ClassicFirearms.com.